Okay, this is Apple Pie OS version 1.3. Um, I've been working on this a lot lately, and my friend has been helping me. So, as you see, this is our, I made a README too. Apple Pie OS version 1.3, that is me, and that's my friend. Um, the username and password is all the same. It's still 32-bit Ubuntu Budgie 20.04. Um, and we added some apps, but I want to give a big thanks to Lee PSB Video and ETA Prime for reviewing it. So... Um, this is his, this is ETA Prime's video, he did an um, awesome job of um, telling it and stuff, and this is Lee PSP's video, He's, he did a great job too, so I'll link these videos in the description, you should definitely check them out, if you haven't already, um, and um, we have a Discord server, so please join it, so you can tell us um, what, like, about the bugs, or whatever, um, that would be really nice. Or if you have any problems, or if you don't understand something. So this is, it's called PyTalk. And all you need to do is just make an account and you can join it. And this is my friend who helped me, his YouTube channel. You should definitely check it out. Um, he does some nice videos about the Pi and about um, Android and stuff. So I'll link that in the description too. Uh, okay. So that's the README basically. Um, and so last time there wasn't Raspberry Pi Imager because I couldn't get it to install, but then I found a way to do it. You don't do it the normal way on Raspberry Pi OS. You have to build it from the source and stuff. So it's working now. I've tested it. I added Visual Studio. So if there are any coders, they would be able to do, um, code and stuff from here. It takes a little while to open, but it does open. Um, I fixed this logo up here. Mm. Dolphin was already there, and there's Picus and um, Firefox. So, for some reason, there there's a bug with the App Store and the Snap Store. Stuff won't install, but I'm working on trying, gonna tr and I'm gonna try to fix that. Um, Oh, I also try and change the boot screen, so I'm gonna reboot and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so I rebooted, and um, it shows this black screen for a few seconds, so don't worry about anything. And it always says those error things up there for some reason. And then you get to the screen. See, I added Apple Pie OS with the Raspberry Pi logo. So, yeah, this is what I changed in version 1.3 of some part of it. Then it just boots into the system. I have the password turned off, but if you want a password, you can always turn it on. Yeah, so I showed that. And another thing I want to show is this disk app. So, as you see, I'm on a 64 gigabyte SD card. But from here, you, I can make a disk image. So if I hit that, I can make it into a... Um, I mean, I can flash it. So there's actually three ways to flash an image on this um, Apple Pie OS. You can use that disk app. You can use Etcher, or you can use Raspberry Pi Imager. All of them will do the same thing. Um, I, I think either Raspberry Pi Imager or Etcher is going to flash it the fastest. They have better speeds. Um, so this is the Files app. As you see, PyKiss. And this little application thing, you have to right click on it, and it opens up all your apps. But it will, like if I just click on it, nothing happens. If you right click, it opens up like this. And then I have the screenshot up here. And I can get a screenshot of the whole screen. So if I go take screenshot. So I can save it. And then I'll open up my files app here. 
go to um, pictures right here is the screenshot yeah so that's a way you can take a screenshot mm hmm there's Cody like last time Cody performs really well on this actually so I would definitely recommend it as you see it just moves super smoothly so uh, I'm still trying to figure out a way to get Netflix um, to get Netflix or Disney plus to be able to run on this because the normal um, me chromium media edition doesn't work on Ubuntu yet so I'll be working on that mm. so um, if you guys have any questions or anything please tell me in the comments or um, you can tell me on discord um, yeah so I hope you like Apple Pie OS version 1.3 mm. so yeah um, please like and subscribe to my video thank you